Hey, it's Jason Creel. What does success look like for your lawn business? I wanted to bring up this topic because in my uh, experience and observation of people, I feel like too many lawn care businesses are simply responding to what happens to them as opposed to taking the bull by the horns for, for lack of a better phrase and putting their business where they want it to go. And so, I, you know, we're entering, uh, here it is, the leaves are falling, it's October, entering sort of a slower season for a lot of people in the lawn business. And I want to encourage you to take a look at your business and to think, what can I do different? How can I make this thing into what I want it to be? And maybe you have, maybe you need to start by thinking, what do I want my business to be? Do I want it to be me out there cutting yards for the next 20 years? Do I want it to be me and a helper cutting yards for the next 20 years? Do I want to have, you know, this many crews and one crew doing landscaping, one crew cutting grass, one crew doing weed control, whatever, you know, what does the finished product look like? And I think that's one of the most important questions you can answer because, you know, honestly, if, we, if you don't know where you're going, uh, you're not as motivated to get there. And so I, to me, if I know, hey, I would like my business to look like this one day, or I've seen this other competitor's business and it looks like that, and I would like to have a business like his one day. Well, now to me, you at least have something to shoot for and you can start working toward that goal. Like I said, I think too many people, they just simply respond you know, to whatever happens. They just, you know, it comes springtime, their phone starts ringing a little bit. Oh, I got a few, I picked up uh, 10 more customers this year and, but you know, I had to let go 10 of my uh, sorry yards to make room for these 10 new ones. So, you know, it's bad. I think it's gonna be better this year. I got 10 new yards, got rid of those 10 sorry ones and you know, should be good this year. You know, and it's sort of just responding to what happens as opposed to being real focused and trying to get your business to where you want it to go. So anyway, I, I think winter's a good time to think through this, do some critical thinking, take some action steps and to think, uh, if my business is not what I want it to be right now, or maybe it is going well, but you want to improve, it, improve on it, you know, what can I change and what steps can I take? And can I use some of my downtime this winter to prepare to have a big year next year? And so that's what I'm looking to do and uh, would advise you to do as well. Hey, thanks for watching the video. A couple of things to mention real quick. If you're new to the channel or haven't done so yet, I would encourage you to click the subscribe button. That'll be the easiest way to stay in touch with the lawn care videos. And I uh, try not to waste your time and only provide relevant content that would be helpful to people in the lawn care business or people who are just crazy about their lawns. So uh, the other thing is in the description of the video, that's where I include some links. If I've mentioned certain things in the video or links to my website where I have recommended products, some other products that are available. Uh, you can check those out and find the links in the description of this video. Thanks.